Hi guys, uh, we continue from where we left off in our previous uh, video um, on child development. In this video, we're going to look at the various theories of child development. Over the centuries, there have been many theories on how children develop to adulthood. Some of the most recognized proponents or philosophers in this area um, include people like Jean Piaget, uh, Sigmund Freud, Eric uh, Erikson and Lev Vitovsky. Today we're going to look at the life and work of Lev Vitovsky. Lev Vitovsky um, was a, a Jewish philosopher, a Jewish Russian philosopher, um, who developed a theory of social uh, development. In 1913, uh, Vitovsky was admitted to uh, Moscow University. In 1917, upon graduation, Vitovsky returned to Gomel, where he lived after the October Socialist Revolution of uh, 1917. In 1924, Lev Vitovsky married Rosa Noevna Smekova in 19, uh, that's 1924. In 1926, um, Vitovsky, that's between 1926 and 1930, Vitovsky worked on a research program investigating the development of higher cognitive functions of logical memory selective attention, decision-making, and language comprehension. Between 1932 and 1934, Vitovsky uh, aimed at establishing a psychological theory of consciousness, but this theory, because of his death, remained only in a very sketchy and unfinished form. In 1934, Vitovsky died of tuberculosis on June 11, 1934, at the age of 37, in Moscow in the then Soviet Union. Vitovsky's theory um, is one which is known as the foundation of constructivism. It asserts three major themes regarding social interaction. The more knowledgeable other and the zone of proximal development. In terms of social interaction, social interaction plays a fundamental role in the process of cognitive development in contrast to Jean Piaget's understanding of child development, in which uh, development necessarily precedes learning. Vitovsky felt that um, social learning precedes development. He states, every function in the child's cultural development appears twice, first on the social level and later on the individual level. Again, first between people, in other words, interpsychological, and then inside the child, which is known as intra-psychological. Looking at the theory of the more knowledgeable other, otherwise known as MKO, the MKO refers to anyone who has a better understanding or a higher ability level than the learner with respect to a particular task, process, or concept. Vitovsky focused on the connection between people and the sociocultural context in which they act and interact in shared experiences. According to Vitovsky, humans use tools that develop from a culture such as speech and writing to mediate their social environments. Initially, children develop these tools to serve solely as social function. Ways to communicate needs. Vitovsky believed, Vitovsky believed that the internalization of these tools led to higher thinking skills. Now, looking at Vitovsky's theory of cognitive, cognitive uh, development, which we touched on slightly earlier, Vitovsky believes that children's thinking is affected by their knowledge of the social community, which is learned from either technical or psychological cultural tools. He also suggested that language is the most important tool for gaining their social knowledge. The child can be taught this from other people via language. He defined intelligence as the capacity to learn from instruction, which emphasizes the fact there is a requirement for a more knowledgeable other person or teacher. He refers to them as just that the more knowledgeable other, in other words, MKO. MKOs can be parents, adults, teachers, coaches, experts, professionals, but also things you might not first suspect, such as children, 
friends and peers. He described something known as the zone of proximal development, otherwise known as ZPD, which is a key feature of his theory. There are two levels of attainment in the ZPD. The first level, or level one, is the present level of development. This describes what the child is capable of doing without any help from others. The level two, he propounded, the potential level of development. This means what the child could potentially be capable of with help from other people or teachers. The gap between level one and two, the present and the potential development, is what Vitovsky described as a zone of proximal development. He believed that through help from others, more knowledgeable people, the child can potentially gain knowledge already held by them. However, the knowledge must be appropriate for the child's level of comprehension. Anything that is too complicated for the child to learn, that isn't in their ZPD and cannot be learned at all until there is a shift in the ZPD. When a person does attain their potential, this shift occurs and the child can continue learning more complex, higher level material. Another important feature of Vitovsky's work um, is a theory of scaffolding. When an adult provides support for a child, they will adjust the amount of help they give depending on their progress. For example, a child learning to walk might at first have both their hands held and pulled upwards as they learn to support their own weight. The mother might hold both their hands loosely. Then she might just hold one hand, then eventually nothing. This progression of different level of help is known as scaffolding. It draws parallel from the real scaffolding for building. It is used as a support for construction of the new material, which is the skill stroke or information to be learned, and then removed once the building is complete, i.e. the skill information has now been learned. Wood and Middleton in 1975 studied the influence of instruction with their experience. They provided a three to four year old with a puzzle which was beyond their comprehension on their own. The mother then provided different levels of assistance to the child. L1, we can, we can label L1 as the general verbal instruction. Very good. Now try that again. We can label L2 as specific instruction. Get four big blocks. We can label L3 as mother indicates material. You need this block here. We can call another level L4 mother provides material and prepares it for assembly. And we can also label one L5 mother demonstrates the operation. After the session, the child was assessed on whether they could construct the pyramids on their own. Results show that when children were given var varied support from mother, low level of support when the child was doing well, and high level when the child struggled, they were able to construct the pyramid on their own. However, when the mother consistently provided the same support, they seemed to make the child conclude the activity was beyond their comprehension, and the child too lost interest in constructing the pyramids. This shows the importance of providing the correct level of scaffolding when teaching a learner. As a final point, Vitovsky looked at the role of egocentric and private speech. This is for example, when a child will sit on their own and speak their thoughts out loud as they play. He suggested a child is regularly and planning their behavior at this point. For example, where is the block? I can't find it. Oh well, I'll use this block. He called these monologues. By seven years, these monologues become internalized and the child becomes a verbal thinker, which is what most adults can do with no problem. When we're faced with a problem and we're alone, we quite often think through the problem, but in our heads, Children before seven will do this out loud. This verbal thinking forms the basis for higher level, more abstract thinking. Planning, reasoning, memorizing, evaluating. Now, just uh, to look back in a summary uh, fashion at what we've discussed today, we've looked at Witowski and we've said that um, he emphasized the role of a teacher 
in cognitive development and the need to have support from a more knowledgeable other, otherwise known as MKO. We've looked at the zone of proximal development or ZPD, which dif differentiates between a learner's current development and their potential development when being taught from a MKO. We also looked at scaffolding, which provides an effective way to reach potential levels of development, but only when different levels of assistance are given when required. We also look at social and cultural tools, which are important means of gaining intelligence. We also look at how um, internalizing monologue and therefore becoming a verbal thinker is a stepping stone to a higher level of thinking. Butovsky provided a very influential theory, which uh, is very helpful in the um, teaching uh, and education sector, as it would enable teachers uh, determine how to present information to children. The emphasis of cultural knowledge was something unseen in Piaget's theory, and I hope you have enjoyed uh, this presentation that I have made regarding uh, Lev Vitovsky.